Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How y'all doing today? Me? Still doing great. It's a beautiful day here in New Mexico. Little overcast, little cloudy. <laughs> Had a couple raindrops hit me, but that's okay. Uh, I got a feeling in a little while I'm going to be getting wet anyway. But for now, the wolf pack and I are going to walk down to my buddy's shop, let them hunt for a minute, get their exercise, uh, get my exercise walking back and forth. Then we'll come back up here to the tiny cabin and uh, talk to you about some things I'm going to do. So, we've got a little bit of company here at RV Base Camp. This is a, what do they call it, open range? What do you think, baby May May? I think I want to get in here and hide. <laughs> what do you think, Tuck? If, if they get any closer, you know what I'm going to do? I got a pretty good idea. Do you, do you know what he's going to do, baby May Mays? He, he, he's going to bite him. Like Martini tried to bite me. <laughs> That's sweet, baby. Six years. Six years and you haven't been able to, maybe seven years, you haven't been able to win over Martini's affection and friendship. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I'll be your friend. I was here first, Daddy. Man. Y'all better leave if you know what's good for you. I'm tuck tuck the terrible. I mean business and stuff. And stuff and stuff. <laughs> good boy. Have y'all hunted enough? Yeah, we didn't. I, I didn't catch anything. But I know they're here. I know. They get, they get so deep in the lumber, I can't get them out. But I smell them. I know they're there. You know, we got to get up, and uh, I need to clean this building before I start painting. It's uh, it's been sitting in the desert, best I can tell, for many years. I doubt there's any mildew on it, but it only takes a second to be sure because we don't want to paint on over any mildew. It's a problem in Georgia. I don't guess it's a problem here, but this this dry and this low humidity. Yep. But that's what we used to do, isn't it, Tucker? We used to get things ready to paint. We used to get buildings and houses ready to paint. How I made my living before YouTube. So I know what I'm doing. Got a little cow. Little cow up there by Miss Gypsy. But I don't, uh, I've got access to a pressure washer here, but uh, I don't have any water up there to use. So I'm just going to use a, a pump up sprayer. Oh, there's a cow peeing. Y'all ever hadn't seen one? Now you've seen it. Um, to uh, spray some chemical up on the paint and get it good and clean before I start to paint it. I'm going to name that one right there. T-Bone. <laughs> Hamburger. Quarter Pounder. What did they say on Pulp Fiction? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, darn it, I used to say it all the time. Y'all don't miss nothing. Gosh. Can't remember it. Was it Samuel Jackson or... No, no, it was John Travolta. Look, quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, I'll put it down in the description below. Y'all know what it was. Do you know what it was, Martini? Hmm? Do you know what it was? 
gosh, I used to say that Pulp Fiction is one of the best movies ever made. Ever, 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 ever. Yeah. Okay, went back and watched YouTube. Watched John Travolta sit there and a quarter pound with cheese. It's called a, a Royale with cheese. So that's your name, Royale with cheese. Isn't that a pretty cow? Looks delicious. <laughs> Everybody else has moved on. What do you call a Big Mac in France? Well, a Big Mac's a Big Mac. But in France, you called it Le Big Mac. <laughs> Got to get it right. After all, I brought it up. Yeah, he brought it up. Kiss me, you fool. I'm good. Okay, back up here to the shop. Man, that was quick. What are you doing, Martini? Daddy. Yeah, Martini. I think the wolf wolf wagons got chipmunks. Again? Yep. Did, did you did you spray that hot stuff on all the wires? I did. Antiratpro.com. I'm not sure if it works or not, but I got it on all my wires on the Wolf Wolf Wagon and Miss Gypsy. So either I'm I'm lucky, coincidence, or the anti rope rat pro works. People are always asking me about this stuff, and I never can remember the name. I know it's Rat Pro something. I forget the Anti Rat Pro. And it's, I believe this website is antiratpro.com. But I've sprayed Biz Gypsy a couple times, uh, several of my friends' RVs and vans and cars, the Wolf Wolf Wagon, and look how much I got left. Um, capsaicin, really, really strong. You don't want to do it in the wind it's either 5500 capsaicin or 95 shus whatever that is bad stuff so either i'm lucky or it works so there you go i'm about to get me some anti cal pro here soon <laughs> anti cal and that cow pro, that's hilarious. Well, might need it. <laughs> see that moo moo? No. Look, see? Man, you, you bark funny. Get out of here, you old moo cow. had this uh, blanket on the ground down here up under the building and it rained so I put it up there on my wood pile so it'll dry out I gotta get it down looks kind of trashy that's right you old cow I'll tell you once I'll tell you a hundred times you better leave you don't want to make me angry why's that tuck you won't like me when I'm angry Good boy. Show you some of my paint supplies here. Okay, I got my paint supplies out here. And I'll show you what I what I bought to get the job done. Kind of hard to beat these Blue Hawk paint sets. I don't used to keep a couple paint sets but I figured I'd painted everything I needed to paint and I threw them away so I got my paint tray three more rollers three tubes of caulk some paint brushes some more roller covers now I have done my fair share of painting I'm a good painter I'm not a great painter the difference is is that I can do quality work. 
could do really nice work. It's just I don't particularly like it a lot. A great painter loves to paint. So that's the difference between me and a great painter. I'm just good because I don't love it. And uh, there was a stool behind me. There it is. So since there's no water up here other than what I carry in, I can't use my friend's pressure cleaner to put chemical on this building to clean it. And I was going to get a pump-up garden sprayer to do the job. And I ran across this. It's a Craftsman battery-powered sprayer. It's continuous 60 minutes of runtime. I've never seen one of these. This was $7, and the cheapest pump-up... Go ahead, man. I'm not stopping you. We got two of you grin. <laughs> Where was I? Okay, so the cheapest pump-up garden sprayer was uh, 10 and this was 7 And it's not a big building. If it doesn't work, I'll take it back if it don't make the job. And if it does work, and after I spray the sodium hypochlorite through it, and I'll rinse it out good, you maybe I could use it for a shower in the Wolf Wolf Wagon. You don't take up a lot of room. Is that coming in clear for everybody? You got this at uh, Home Depot, no, Lowe's. Didn't they buy out Craftsman after Sears went up, uh, belly up? That's a better, better term than what I wanted to say. So uh, I'll let you know how this works out. I'm kind of interested in it. So, having my rentals and... Uh, always having to paint them inside and out in my house and years and years and years ago I'd paint 10 12 15 houses a year on top of my pressure cleaning I became a Porter paints nut I was like their biggest fan uh, great quality very in the south it's very mildew resistant uh, there's other good paints and there's some bad paints but at least in the south fighting mildew and and not peeling and not cracking porter paints for many 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 years 20 years at least i used it nothing but but one day i think it was a sunday i had to have some paint and porter was closed and so i went to lowe's and I said, what's your best paint? And they said, Valspar. I'm like, okay, I'll take a gallon of white, ring me up, let me get out of here. And I figured big box store paint wasn't any good. But let me tell you something. I started using the Valspar Duramax uh, white. And I, I like the semi-gloss. Eggshell's nice too. You use a flat, it's not very mildew resistant. So I use a semi. And I didn't think I'd ever paint to the bottom of the bucket. You know, getting painting and getting uh, paint out, it just kept going and kept going and kept going. And just beautiful coverage. I was like, okay, it covers well. I bet it won't hold up. Wrong. <laughs> I painted. Uh, the trim, the white trim on my shop at uh, my house at the time, I had a 28 by 35 shop. That stuff looked great for years and years. And so, sorry, Porter, Valspar is better. So that's what I've got for the tiny cabin. This is going to be white. All my trim. All of this that you see, these posts around my windows, doors, that's going to be white. And then, I know that's one gallon is going to be enough. I really needed two, but I only got one. But I am going to, I'll let you see that it's a, a deep base, but I'm not going to share the color yet. So that's why I got the screws up here. I'm going to hold off. Got a surprise for you guys. It's going to be a little bit different than what you expect. 
So that's my project. I'm gonna get out of my good clothes, mix me up some chemical, spray down the tiny cabin, and have some clear water, try to rinse it the best I can, and uh, then I'll be ready to paint. So I went back, looked at all my clips, and they're starting to add up. Already, we got over 20 minutes of video that I recorded. Of course, I won't use all of it, so I gotta cut it back. A lot of people, they just put out little short videos, little five, six, seven, 10 minute videos. For the life of me, I just can't tell the story that quick. Must be a southern, southern thing. <laughs> I almost ate a fly. What's going on? It's fixing to rain, they didn't come under here. Uh, it's neither here nor there. So before they take me off, I'm gonna end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Gotta get to work, bye. Man, you put me to sleep. <laughs> I couldn't be that bad cut. Oh, goodness. Baby May May, did I put you to sleep? What? What is it? Is it, is it a moo moo? No, baby. I'm just talking. You can go back to sleep now. Good baby.